How to change an alternator. The vehicle's alternator supplies power to recharge the battery and operate its electronics. If your vehicle begins showing signs of reduced power like dimming headlights or interior lighting, you can have your alternator tested for free at most auto parts stores. If it can't produce enough current to keep your battery charged and car running, it will need to be replaced. Disconnecting the alternator. Park the car on an even, level surface. Anytime you plan to work on your vehicle, safety is paramount. Because you may need to jack the vehicle up, make sure it's parked on a surface that's suitable for the work. It should be evenly paved and flat. Even if you don't have the jack the car up, it's easier to work on an even surface. Ensure the vehicle is parked, or has the parking brake engaged if equipped with a standard transmission. Even if you don't have the jack the car up, it's easier to work on an even surface. Ensure the vehicle is parked, or has the parking brake engaged if equipped with a standard transmission. Disconnect the battery. Find the right socket to loosen the bolt that keeps the cable on the negative terminal tight. It's the terminal of the battery with a visible sign. Once it's loose, slide the cable off the terminal to disconnect the battery. Never work in the engine bay of a vehicle without first disconnecting the battery for safety. Working on the alternator without disconnecting the battery could result in getting shocked or damaging the vehicle. You can leave the positive cable attached. Working on the alternator without disconnecting the battery could result in getting shocked or damaging the vehicle. You can leave the positive cable attached. Jack the vehicle up if necessary. Follow the serpentine or accessory belts to locate the alternator in your engine bay. Depending on the vehicle, it may be on the top closest to you, or it may be on one of the sides and difficult to access. If you can't easily access it from the engine bay, you'll need to jack up the vehicle. Be sure the parking brake is on and the wheels are blocked before you jack it up. Insert jack stands beneath the vehicle for safety once it's jacked up. L greater than be sure the parking brake is on and the wheels are blocked before you jack it up. Insert jack stands beneath the vehicle for safety once it's jacked up. Remove the main power cable from the alternator. The main power cable will be the thick cable attached to the alternator that runs from the battery. Depending on how much space you have in your specific vehicle, you may be able to use a ratchet, but in some, you may only be able to fit an open-ended wrench. Unscrew the bolt holding it in place and pull it from where it's connected. The bolts will likely require standard-sized sockets or wrenches in American-made vehicles, and metric in most foreign applications. The only other cable running to the alternator connects to a harness, so it will be easy to identify. Set the bolt aside someplace safe until you install the new alternator. The bolts will likely require standard-sized sockets or wrenches in American-made vehicles, and metric in most foreign applications. The only other cable running to the alternator connects to a harness, so it will be easy to identify. Set the bolt aside someplace safe until you install the new alternator. Release the safety clip connecting the wiring harness. The only other wiring heading into the alternator is the control harness. Use your finger or a flathead screwdriver to release the clip holding the harness together, then slide it apart. Be careful if you use a screwdriver to get to hard to reach clips so you don't break the plastic. Tuck the loose wire aside so it doesn't snag on the alternator when you remove it. Be careful if you use a screwdriver to get to hard to reach clips so you don't break the plastic. Tuck the loose wire aside so it doesn't snag on the alternator when you remove it.